Assalamualaikum semua. I just come back from this one program just now, just a one minute, one minute ago, which uh, the title is Expectation versus Reality by two speakers. Which the first speakers I really, really inspired on until I Google his name during the talk, and I discovered that he is the one yang dia punya academic transcript viral because he is a uh, IUM economic student dulu and every semester 3.8 maintain GPA 3.8 and I was very this is the guy that I really inspired before I decided not to go out early or even go to another talk that I decided to so I asked him one question um, is he is a bookworm or is he still joined outside activity during uh, his study time? So he answered me and I record his answer. So I will share you guys specifically for who is taking um, Bachelor of Economics in IIM or any other student that taking economics or generally to any other students, students in any university. So let's hear on what is his answer on my question. Please, uh, academic transcript went viral once on Twitter. Uh, during your study time, were, were you a bookworm or still active um, outside? How did you balance both of them? Balance is a very tough thing to do when you are a student with a lot of emotion and things to do, right? Well, uh, First, you need to have deep interest in your study. I have been loving or in love with economics since uh, Form 4, my 16 years old. I have been in love with it and I have been deep economics until today. And that's how I develop my interest to study because I love what I study. That's one thing. Develop your interest in economics if you really want to success or excel, excel in it. Uh, the way I balance it, is where I don't cram a lot of subject in one semester. I took my time. I did four years in UIA. Half of my friend did 3.5 years. They left me alone here. <laughs> uh, the best thing when you not cram a lot of subject in one semester, you can actually take time to learn, take time to study, take time to score each of one of the subject. That's my strategy, lah. If you ask me, some of my friends say that no, I can, I can cram everything. I just want to finish early so that I can just go anywhere I want. That's also cool. But my strategy is to actually put 5 max. My class literally stop at Thursday 11.30 a.m. Done. So you need to have balance in the sense that uh, organize your schedule well and prepare early for exam. Don't start late. And always remember that you should have your own personal time. You don't study 24 hours. I don't study 24 hours. You should make one movie per week to have your own personal time. Like myself, I will spend seven hours, go to the nearest cyber cafe at Dano Kota with four of my friends and play Dota for the whole night until super. And tomorrow, I reset my mind, continue my work. Even until today, even in my work life, I do that. I have one day per week for my me time. Do that and it will be, be very healthy. One of my friends have a mid time of going window shopping. So she literally go to any malls near KL every weekend, one day at least, for herself or with her girlfriends or whatever. Okay. Have your own mid time, everyone have their own mid time, find that me time. And once you have that reset mind every week, you can actually uh, excel in quite a lot of things. And like Mr. Shafi told you, be active, but not necessarily join all the events that you don't have time to study. Join the event that matters to you. My passion is always on esports, on gaming. And I joined Esport Club and become, became the president. And I actually strive to actually develop Esport Club in, in uh, UIA for the second tenure of the Esport Club. Because I really like it, I want to contribute something to it. And that's where I really matters to me. Find a club or find a society that matters to you, put your heart in it and God's will, you can actually perform very well in your curriculum from that passion that you've got made through the uh, society. So I think you can show yourself.